This is a complete tutorial on how to set up and use Google Family Link. So let's get started. First, I'll show you how to set it up. And if you've done this, you can skip to the next part. So here you can see I have two devices. On the left is the parent's phone and on the right, the child's phone, which we want to supervise. The first thing you have to do is go to your child's phone and open settings. Once you're in settings, just scroll down till you find Google and then click on all services. Again, scroll down till you find parental controls. That's this option. And now click on let's do this. So here you have to select the account that you want to supervise. And one thing you need to note that you aren't allowed to have multiple accounts signed in on your child's phone. So now if I select this account, then they'll sign me out of all my other accounts. So just click on supervise account, then click on next. And here, the parent has to enter the Gmail account with which they'll want to supervise their child. So I'll enter that. Then here they've explained how parental controls work and they've said that the parent and child are supposed to go through this. So you can go through all these details and then the child has to enter their account's password. So now click on next and click on allow. Then over here, then click on next and now it's ready on the child's phone. The next thing to be done is head over to the parent's phone. So here I've come to the parent's phone and here just install the Google family link app. You'll have to do this from the play store. So this is the app which you'll have to install. Just click on open once it's installed. And here just log in with the same email ID that you entered on your child's phone. I've done that and I'll click on continue. And now everything is set up and we have an entire dashboard and controls all over here. So now I'll show you all of the controls which you have as a parent. So here you can see in the app, there are three main pages. So over here, you can see the device, whether it's locked or unlocked. And on top, you can see the screen time. If you want to set a screen time limit, you can just click on time limits. And here, there are two options. You can set a daily time limit so that is the maximum time a child can spend on their phone. And the second option is an app limit, which is the maximum time the child can be in a certain app. If you want to set a limit only for today, just click on today, then enable this option. And now I can set a time limit like this and then click on done. Then there's also an option to set a weekly schedule. So if you click on this option, then here for each day, you can set a different time limit that will automatically refresh at the end of the week. After that, they have app limits. So if you want to set a limit for a certain app, then just click on this. And here, they have the list of apps. So let's say I want to set one for Instagram. I'll just go to it, click on it, and now click on set limit. Then again, I can change it and click on done. And as you can see, a 30 minute limit has been set on Instagram. Then there's one more thing you can do relate to time limits and that's setting a downtime. So this is a time during which the child cannot use their phone. So just click on schedules that's here and you can see the first option called downtime. So if you enable this over here, you can set the time limit, a schedule like before and decide which apps you want to allow. You have all of these controls. So this was all about screen time and time limits. And the next thing I'll show you is more related to settings. For this, just click on controls. That's the center page. So over here, for each Google app, you can go through the controls and change them. So let's say for YouTube, if you click on this here, if you want, you can enable restricted mode. So as they've said, this will help hide mature content. So if you want to do this, just enable it. So the same way, for the different Google apps, let's say Google search. If you want to keep safe search on, you can just click on it. And here you can see they have three options for explicit content. So the same way you can go through all of these and change the settings. Then another thing you can do is see the devices which are logged in with your child's account. So if you click on signed in devices, so here you get an entire list of the different devices and when they were last active on them. Then the next option is related to location. So if you want to see your child's location, then just click on location settings and ensure the first option is enabled, which is see your child's location. 
And now, once it's enabled, the location on your child's phone will always remain on. And if you want to see the accurate location, just go back and go to the third page, that's location. So here, you can see the accurate location of your child's device. So this is how Google Family Link works. And if you want to know how to supervise your child's Instagram account, check out this video. Goodbye.